everyone it's nicole welcome back to my channel relax cut glue if you're new here welcome i'm so happy to have you here with me today so today i'm doing a very different video one i've never done before i made six little golden book christmas glue books um and i'm selling them and I'm gonna go through each and every one and then I'll show you the details or tell you all the details at the end. Um, I realize I only have six. If there's a high demand for more, I can certainly make more. I can also make some that are not Christmas related if you would like one that's um, random like I do with different scrapbook papers and papers and stuff like that. So um, like I said, I'll do all the details at the end, but let's go through them. So we will start with this one. All these books are brand new, by the way. They are not thrifted. So on all of these, you have a one inch cinch spine. I also saved the foiling on the book that is Little Golden Book right here. So you still have that red foiling, um, as well as I added some washi tape down the sides just for extra security on both the fronts and the backs or the insides of each. And keep in mind, because these are glue books, I kept them very plain. I will be adding some little goodies, but I'm not gonna show those because those will be a surprise. But if you wanna turn this into a junk journal, easy peasy, you can totally do that. Um, but because I'm selling them as a glue book, I, I glue books are flat and plain because we're gluing on top, but obviously you can glue whatever you want. So in the front of each one is an envelope, and this is where I'm going to put little goodies in. And once, you know, this book is yours, if you don't want an envelope in the front, you can always just glue this down and collage over the front and back. And so all the stories are intact in each one of these books, um, and it's in order. So we have that. Now I talk about how, and that's how I made these with my glue books. I like the white page because I, this is what I add like full page. Sometimes I add another piece of scrapbook paper on the top or wrapping paper, or I collage on it or magazine clippings, whatever. So I like the white side. Some of these pages are double-sided. And so here you have the story and I have different sized, oops, different sized papers. This is not part of the story. This is um, part of another Christmas book. You have some of writing paper. And if you wanna turn this into a junk journal, add pockets, add tabs, add belly bands, add, you know, this, it's basically a blank junk journal that you can add all the things to or you know, make it a glue book. I also have coloring, some coloring sheets in there that you can either color or collage on. So that's fun. This is a Christmas card. Another piece of coloring paper. I'm going through these rather fast because I have six to get through. These are so fun. And if you don't finish this um, your first year, you can save it for next year and complete it the next year. There's enough papers in here to make a December daily if you wanted, where you create something every single day. And there we have it. Okay, so this is book number one. So in the end, um, if you decide you want this book and you email me, you'll need to tell me the number that you want, but hold up. I'll put all the directions at the end. So this one is Santa's workshop. Same thing. Um, the foil is still left on the book. Washi tape, one inch uh, cinch spine. And again, this is a brand new book. So you have your envelope that I'm going to add some things into. Same kind of thing. Each book is different. Um, you have some of the same papers, but no book is exactly the same. And the integrity of the book is still here. The, the storyline is all in order. This is again, just another piece of book page from another book. I love this paper. So pretty and classy coloring sheet, 
I like having different sized papers in mine. You know, if you wanted more uh, variation in size, you can always take your scissors and cut right through um, like this and cut the paper with your scissors in between the binding. And then you'll have two pieces of paper that you can flip and flop. So if you wanna make them more sheets, you can just cut, cut through there. There we go, love this paper. Coloring sheet, writing paper, storybook. Love this paper too. And this is like, all these are like cardstock. So they're thicker. So you have lots of room to create in these books. And um, yeah, you can add puffy things, all kinds of stuff. Because the cool thing about a ring bound journal or glue book is that when you add with a regular binding, if you had puffy stickers and stuff, it's kind of hard to glue down when the back is all puffy. But with these kind of books, because they're ring bound, you can always, let's say there was puffy things down here. You just, you know, move the, all the stuff on that side and just keep this paper like this and glue down. And then it, you still have that flat surface. So that is this book. This is Santa's Toy Shop. This is number two. All right, let's go on to number three here. Frosty the Snowman, again, brand new book. Foil, washi, you get the drill at this point. And I left this blank because you can add, you know, pom-pom um, trim or you can write your name here, all that kind of stuff. And I will sign these. You have a signature for me um, that's been requested, so I guess I'll do that. Seems weird. <laughs> you know, I don't think of myself as... You know, I don't know, it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to sign my name. This is such a cute book. Look at these little snowmen. So cute. Same kind of thing. I love this cartoon. I need to watch it today. Andrew and I started watching some cartoon movies yesterday. We watched the original Grinch, the like 26 minute cartoon one. Oh, it just brings back memories, doesn't it? So cute. I love like a good classic Santa Claus. Coloring paper. Oh, I love his little face. So cute. And there we have that one. So that is, oops, hold on. There we go. That's Frosty. Be number three. Then we have Jingle Bells. Same thing. Oh, these are so cute. Once I got done, I was like, oh man, I want to keep every single one of these. <laughs> They're just so fun. I love it. Okay. Super cute. Look at this card with the cute little doggy. This is cute paper too, I love that. Oh, don't you just, oh my gosh, he's so cute, I can't even stand it. Oh, I love this page, how pretty. It's so funny because I put these together but I didn't really look at all the pages of the actual book because, I don't know, it's kind of a surprise for me too, you know? Oh, his name is Rupert, he gets a rocking horse. Look a little granny. Oh, so cute. <laughs> look at them all giving side eye. <laughs> That's Sherman's look right there. And there we go. And look how cute they have the jingle bells down in the in the back. Adorable. 
Okay, so that is a number four. Okay, and then number five is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So let's take a little flippy through. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely putting on these cartoons when I'm done here. It's happening. I've watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation every single day since Thanksgiving. My husband watches it every single day anyways throughout the year. It's his favorite movie. Isn't this cute? This little bar barn scene. This is also, everyone has a piece of a Christmas card in it too. Oh, Clarice. I always love that her name was Clarice because you guys know that Sounds of the Lambs is one of my all time favorite movies. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Clarice. I always wanted a little black kitty named Clarice and then an orange kitty named Hannibal. I probably shouldn't be talking about that during a Christmas flip through. <laughs> this is bright and cheery. Not horror. So cute. And with the coloring pages, you can color them or just collage on top. Um, or, you know, a little bit of both. These are so cute. Jack in the boxes scare me to death. I don't, with somebody with anxiety, anything that like jumps at you or anything like that. No, thank you. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, I love little Rudolph. So you guys get the gist. I don't know if it comes up on camera. This is actually like a sweater print in all red, but up close you can see it's sweater, like a wool sweater. All right, so there's that one. That is number five. I almost counted all these in Spanish because when I saw my nephew the other day, he learned Spanish in school, so and he's six. So he was counting forever in Spanish. It was adorable. Okay, so this one, The Night Before Christmas. Look how cute this is with the blue and the yellow. You don't always see that with Christmas stuff. Oh, December 1882. That's cute. This one is definitely more of the vintage-y. Oh my gosh, this looks like a Jane Austen movie. So cute. I need to get more books because I want to make one for myself as well. Oh, love a good old fashioned Santa. Adorable. So you can add all kinds of trim and lace and ribbon to these. You can add pockets and tucks. You can just glue till your heart's content. You can do both. You could glue and have a junk journal, whichever you wanted. And there we go. Super cute. Okay, so that is the last one, number six. So this is how this is going to work. I am going to put my e or, yeah my email up on the screen, and I am going to take first come first serve for these. Um, I do need you to pay upon telling you that you got it, and I'll give you a link to pay me for that. So these are going to be. $45 and that includes shipping. I'm only allowing these in the US for right now. Shipping is just so hard um, and so expensive to ship across the world and Christmas time and everything is just too much. So I'm sorry, this launch is just USA only. Like I said, it's $45. That includes shipping and it'll be first come first serve. And if you're wondering if a book is available, instead of just emailing me, I'm going to update the description box and I'll tell you when they are sold, which ones are sold and which ones are available. Um, so yeah, as they get sold, I will update that and let you guys know. So thank you guys so much for your excitement over these. I hope you enjoy them. I worked really, really hard 
on making these and I'm really proud. I think they're going to be a lot of fun and I hope you guys think so as well. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and until next time, bye!